Hi. Good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Shamim Akmal bin Samsuri and I am from Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. Hi, my name is Jihan Oan bin Muhammad Tahir and I am from Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. Oh, hello, my name is Muhammad Afara bin Iswara and I'm from the Faculty of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering. Hi, my name is Muhammad Rapandi and I'm from Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. This is the intro of Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. I will explain about the introduction of Mechanical Engineering Faculty. It was established in 1975 in University Technology Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur. For your information, the Chair of School of Mechanical Engineering is Professor Dr. Muhammad Hasbullah Haji Idris. The faculty offers five programs, which is the Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering with Honours, then Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering in Industrial Aeronautics and Automotive with Honours and lastly they also have the Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering Naval Architecture and Offshore Engineering with Honours As for this year there are 2016 students who enroll in this course and also, there are 137 academic staff and 98 non-academic staff, such as technician. Usually, it takes about four years to graduate from this course. For example, the students of Bachelor Mechanical Engineering, which is Currently, my friend and I, who are we, we enroll, will take about four years to graduate. Based on 2020 and 2021, U.S. News and World Report Best Global University Ranking, our university has been listed among the top 50 which is number 21 in mechanical engineering and incredibly number one in Malaysia. Thank you. Hi, so now we will be moving on to the history of University of Technology of Malaysia. So the School of Mechanical Engineering or SME is a part of the Faculty of Engineering at University of Technology of Malaysia. It was previously known as the Faculty Kejuruteraan Jentera or the acronym would be FKJ. It was founded in 1975 on the campus of University of Technology of Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur. FKG initially had two departments, one for mechanical engineering and one for petroleum engineering. The faculty was led by a dean who was assisted by a deputy dean and two department heads. <coughs> On March 15, 1983, the Department of Petroleum Engineering was expanded to form the Faculty of Chemical and Natural Resources Engineering. In June of 1989, FKJ relocated to a new campus in Skudai. On December 20th, 1995, the university agreed to rename FKJ to Faculty Kejurutaan Mechanical or FKM or Faculty of Mechanical Engineering FME. In order to make the faculty more marketable internationally, in July of 2018, as part of the UTM Synergy 4.0 initiative, FKM was renamed Faculty of Engineering FE 
along with other five faculties. The Faculty of Mechanical Engineering was renamed the School of Mechanical Engineering, or in short form, SME. Uh, there are many facilities that are offered by the School of Mechanical Engineering uh, that are offered by the campus to the School of Mechanical Engineering. Uh, there are computer facilities, hardware facilities, and IT facilities. Uh, first, we go into the computer facilities. What, what do they offer? Uh, first is uh, they offer uh, the rooms, the labs, uh, the software, and others like computer room, chairs, desks that are actually uh, very comfortable and make students uh, uh, excited to learn more uh, with the facilities that are given to them so that they will be more comfortable in doing their uh, studies at the classrooms, at labs, etc. Uh, also, uh, they have um, facilities such as PCs that are equipped by a uh, very fast uh, CPU, very, I mean very good CPUs, GPUs, uh, mouse, uh, sometimes wireless uh, and then keyboards that are actually very good uh, whereas um, uh, it takes students uh, very much time to type so the better the keyboards are also the better the outcome of uh, their results uh, and then monitors uh, which uh, in my opinion is the best part uh, that they offer in uh, the PC settings. Um, then they offer hardware such as printers which is located around campus uh, and then UTM Wi-Fi which is also located all around uh, UTM uh, and in my opinion UTM Wi-Fi is very very fast uh, and it uh, eases us as students to um, give our, our best or access I mean uh, to other sources of learning uh, to open journals to open uh, lecture videos to search for something more uh, to further uh, gain knowledge and uh, excel in our studies the engineering Compu computing laboratory or uh, ECL provides an academic computing services for the School of Mechanical Engineering. ECL provides support to both coursework and research activities in the school. Uh, ECL has an extensive, extensive software library uh, for mechanical engineering applications, word processing, graphic or plotting, and of course, programming, which is very important to us engineering students. ACL is split uh, along the Windows and Linux OS device into four laboratory rooms and two remote computing servers, and also to cope with the emerging sophisticated of uh, engineering software that we often use now. The laboratory had made huge provision focusing on CAD and CAE applications. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, UTM classes have been changed from face-to-face -face class to online classes. So even now, I am doing online class. So for the time being, this is me with my computer and a cup of coffee to kickstart my morning. And sometimes when I'm stressed out, I'll just take my car keys Take 
my wallet and go drive don't forget your mask or you'll be fine thousand ringgit from the government do some groceries what to drink to drink during my class because my place is in conditional movement control order just went back and wait for my class to start that's all sums up my day and how about yours stay safe and stay strong